everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at this Jazzmaster from Fender's new American Pro 2 line. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way it won't be sad in any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to the Jazzmaster and all the gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. So Fender's had the American Professional line before, but now they've come out with like a Series 2 line with a bunch of different guitars and some new little features as well. So in this video, we're going to have a look at the Jazzmaster, which comes in this really cool cool what they call dark knight finish where it's kind of like a reverse burst where it goes from black to blue on the edges and it's kind of got this like nice little sparkle throughout the whole color as well on this particular model we've got a nice rise with fretboards we've got a glossy painted headstock but then the back of the neck is actually like a satin finish which feels nice and smooth the neck profile isn't super thin but not super thick either it's kind of a bit slimmer than like a vintage c shape and we also have a sculpted heel on the back for easier fret access other than that we've got standard tuners on the a raised up string tree which is nice as well and of course we've got the v-mod pickups now there's a couple of different little options you can have the time pot on the guitar is actually a push pull which can change the pickup from like a vintage sound to more of a modern sound with a bit thicker bottom end and a little bit hotter as well then we have a standard three-way switch now the normal rhythm circuit that we have on the jazz master actually doesn't do the traditional jazz master rhythm circuit it actually puts the two pickups in series so it's kind of like turning it into one big Bucker, and then you have the separate volume and time for that sound as well. The bridge is a standard Jazzmaster bridge, but with Mustang style saddles, which is definitely something that you need on those other ones to stop the strings popping out. And we also have these nylon bushings to hold the bridge in place as well, so it's not moving about over time. We also have a more modern popping arm with a little bit more range on the tremolo as well. And it seems like the clearance of the strings going into the piece right at the back is a little bit higher. So you're not having the possibility of it rubbing against the metal and unwinding your strings at that end. So we're going to check it out in a couple of different scenarios we're going to check it out clean then with some drive pedals a fuzz pedal or two and then a modulation pedal as well the amp i'm using today is my hamstead art is 60 plus rt which is one of the best clean pedal platforms i've tried there's a little bit of reverb coming from the amp as well that's running into the time king iron man 2 attenuated just to knock off a few dbs and then running into a celestian g12m65 cream bat speaker that's being recorded by lewitt mtp 440 dynamic microphone which is like an sm57 with a tiny bit more bass so the jazz master straight into the amp sounds like this
So there we have it. That was a look at the new American Pro 2 Jazzmaster from Fender in the really cool Dark Knight finish. A really cool take on a Jazzmaster that kind of blends some modern features with the classic Jazzmaster sounds. Having that push-pull time pot to get more of a vintage sounding bridge pickup is really cool. Of course, you've got the nice satin finish on the back of the neck, so it feels nice and smooth. The more modern neck profile, which a lot of players will love. The improved bridge with Mustang saddles and nylon bushings. The improved range on the tremolo with the popping arm. And then, of course, the cool little mod to the rhythm switch that actually allows you to pick the two pickups in series and turn it into like a big humbucker. This is a great Jazzmaster for someone who wants kind of like the Jazzmaster tone and feel, but with some more modern appointments and even to make it even more flexible. And I've got to say, I'm quite a big fan of this finish. It's not normally something I'd go for, but I think it really works well on this guitar. Going from like the black sparkle in the center to the nice blue sparkle on the edge really makes it look unique and a little bit more modern as well. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this Jazzmaster and if you go and pick one up. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to the Jazzmaster and all the gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I really appreciate if you go and check them out. If you did like this demo video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.